Hey guys, it's Ma and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this alien makeup look. So if you want to know how I did this, just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. After blending that concealer out, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and just set that concealer so it doesn't crease. Now I'm going to start my eyeshadow. I am going for a cut crease look today, so to start that off, I'm going to take my Makeup Peak eyeshadow in the shade Cupcake and just put that in my crease. Now I'm going to deepen up my crease with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Bitten. So I wanted my crease to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to take the shade Cherry Cola and just darken up my crease. So now I'm going to take my white eyeliner from Sephora and I'm just going to make the line where I want to cut my crease. You guys can use a liquid liner, but I didn't have one so I just used this. It was a little harder, liquid liner is probably easier, but it still worked. So now this is the part where it kind of gets a little hard, but I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm just going to start cutting my crease with my concealer that I used before. This part can get a little tricky, so what I suggest is just take your time and do it in sections and blend it out in sections so you don't ruin the top. Now I'm just going back in with my translucent powder and I'm just setting that concealer. Alright guys, so for this part I highly suggest that you guys get glitter glue. I used eyelash glue and it was patchy at some spots, but it's still workable, it's just difficult to work with. So I'm just taking my eyelash glue and I'm just putting that all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Loose Glitter in the shade Meteor Shower and just put it on top. Also guys, I suggest if you're using loose glitter to pat it in and not rub it in because otherwise it's going to get patchy. Now I'm going to take my black eyeliner from Tarte and I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner. I also switched off between that and my Kat Von D one in the shade Trooper because it was getting patchy in some spots because of the glitter. Now I'm just putting on my Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Farrah. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Tarte Mascara and just blend my real lashes and my fake ones together. Also guys, if I'm not saying the names of these products correctly, just make sure to check out my bio below because they're all going to be listed down there. Now to prime my face, I'm going to take this little sample size that I got from Sephora of the Guerlain or Guerlain, I don't know how to say it, but that primer, and I'm just going to rub that all on my face. Next, I'm going to take my Benefit Professional and just put that where I have like problem areas or places I want to smooth out. Now for my foundation, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 350 and I'm just going to blend that all out with a beauty sponge.
Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just start to highlight my face. I'm also going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and I'm just going to take that and put it over where the Tarte one was because the Tarte one's a little too dry so this one makes it more creamy. Now going in with the same powder I used before, my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm just going to set my under eyes and everywhere else I concealed. So I've been loving this Fenty Beauty Matchstick to cream contour lately. And I don't remember what shade it's in, but I will put it in the bio below. So what I like to do personally, because it is a little dry, is I like to take it and put it on my beauty blender and then just put it wherever I contour. Now I'm just taking a little pencil tip brush and I'm just going to use that to contour my nose. Now taking my Bare Minerals powder foundation in the shade Cardamom 23, I'm just going to set my whole face. Now onto my brows and be aware my brows take forever so I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia dip brow pomade and I'm gonna do the outer part of my eyebrows and then I'm gonna go in with the brow powder from Anastasia and do the inner parts Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Dark and I'm just going to use that to conceal my eyebrows. Now taking my Anastasia Brow Gel, I'm just going to set my brows. Now I'm going to be taking a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Backlight. It's this really pretty iridescent color and I'm just going to be putting that on my brow bones. To bronze my face, I'm going to be taking my Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade High Dive and my Sephora bronzer in the shade Canary Islands and I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. For blush, I'm going to be taking the Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party and I'm just going to be putting that on my cheeks. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking my NYX Studio Liquid Liner in the shade Extreme Silver and I'm just going to be putting that on my bottom lash line. So now I'm going to go back into that Makeup Peak eyeshadow in the shade Backlight and I'm going to start putting that under my eyes and I'm going to bring it down in a triangle shape. It's kind of hard to explain but you can see me doing it in the video. So I wanted it a little more glittery, so I'm taking that NYX liquid liner in the shade Extreme Silver and I'm just putting a little bit under my eyes and then blending it out with a flat shader brush. 
And I'm also gonna be taking my Makeup Geek Loose Glitter Powder in the shade Meteor Shower that I used on my lid. And I'm gonna be taking that and putting it in the inner corners and kind of spreading it out. Now going in with this gorgeous Becca highlighter in the shade Prismatic Emptyus, I'm just going to be highlighting my face with that and also blending it up to my temples. Now for my waterline, I'm going to be taking this NYX eyeliner in the shade Linen. It's this really light baby pink color. Now I'm just going to take that same Tarte mascara and just put it on my lower lashes. So this part was a little tricky. I took the gems and I tried to stick it like over my eyebrows and they wouldn't stick properly. So I took my eyelash glue and I just put a little dot on the back and then took my tweezers and just placed it wherever I wanted. Also for placement, it's up to you guys how you want to place them. I just decided to place them like this because that's how I, I liked it and how I wanted it. I forgot to highlight my nose, so I'm just going to go back into that Becca highlighter and highlight it. And then I'm going to be going in with my Urban Decay Quick Fix Setting Spray and just setting my whole face. Okay, so to start off my lips, I'm going to be taking the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Natural and just line my lips. Now I'm going to take my NYX Cosmic Metals Liquid Lipstick. I think this is in the shade Rose Gold, but I'm not sure. It's like a metallic lip, and I'm just going to put that all over my lips. So I wanted my lips to be a little more holographic, so I'm going back into that Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Backlight, and I'm just going to be dabbing that on my lips. Now I'm going to set my face one more time and I'm just going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just spray that all over my face. 